Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is lesson number nine how to review a primavera time schedule for a contractor and a client. Time schedule flows in primavera. In my opinion, the difference between a workable and non workable time schedule is the activities flows. Basically, there is there are two types of floats free float and total float. Free float is the duration which an activity can be delayed in the start or the finish date before delaying the, su the successor activity. The successor activity means the activity after. Simply, the free float is the amount of time which an activity can be delayed without affecting the activity will start after. The total float is the duration which an activity can be delayed in the start or the finish date before delaying the project completion date. It means every day, uh, uh, every day the delays in this activity will delay the overall project completion date by one day. And the critical activities always has a free float and total float equal to zero. So when the activity is critical, it means that there is no float, there is no allowance to be delayed without delaying the successor activities and the project completion date. You need to check your schedule floats and be sure that you are you assigned a proper relationship between activities. Mainly, the big floats are a result from lack of relationship or, or wrong relationships. So simply, let's go and see how to find and fix the wrong total floats in your schedule. And this is the first thing the consultant or the client or whoever will review a time schedule will look for. They will look for the total flow. This is the first thing they will look to. Okay, let's go and see in Promovera how to find and fix the total floats. This is our uh, project and uh, we want to check the total floats here in our schedule. So first thing, we should show the total floats column. So from here, find, I'll search for total load it is under duration but for fast to get it fast I'll search it from here but you can open duration and find total float as well I'll move it down after the finish then I'll click apply here is the total float let's go and tra track the plaster work for example it has 240 days total float which is something not reasonable okay so what is the successor activity after i finish the plaster i need to finish to start the paint so i have here two things i can link the plaster to itself first so by floor so i'll copy this plaster work then from filter i choose just a filter when activity name contains Cluster works and I click apply and from my layout I'll just hide it empty okay first of all I will link the plaster work to itself it means that the ground floor should be finished before the first floor start and let's see how this will affect our total flow Let's do this relationship and show let's show the relationship to be clear. And, and let's run the program. Now notice here this is 240. Let's schedule the project and uh, see if there is any change. Ah now it became 60 days. Because I added another link to the the activity I told the activity you cannot start in the first floor unless you finish the ground floor this is a, a, a way that you can 
reduce the total flow. Now I will remove my filter. Okay, another way to reduce the total flow. This plaster work is bent on the painting wall. So I'll go to the painting wall. Painting work here has big flow. So I'll copy the painting wall and I will do the same what I did in the plaster work and make it finish to start here finish to start here finish to start and finish to start and let's run our schedule okay so whether you uh, link the activity itself per floors or link or fix the successor activity like the paint and the plaster it's depend on the activities you have let's go and see how our schedule look like now okay so now everything seems to be fine we have here ceramic tiles 300 days which is not reasonable of course so make filter on the ceramic tiles and we'll do the same relationship finish to start and let's run the program and now we fix it the floats here so the first method to fix the float is to link the the, the activity bare floor the second method to fix the float is to link the activity to another activity let's say that to link the ceramic tiles to the painting or something so it's been on uh, actually the, uh, the program itself and how you program your schedule and by the time when you used to do this uh, schedules you will know from the beginning how to avoid this wrong floats so in uh, by practice you will know what is the activity to be done from the beginning I hope this method will help you to reduce your total float and if you have any questions please send me and ask me how and I will, I will be happy to reply you thank you very much see you in the next part